Yeah, like I have a, like for example, I rather read something with a black background with white letters. That's easier for me than vice versa. Because so of that. But a lot of it is contrast problems, and I could see colors and shapes. Fine. It's just whenever the shape is farther away from me and whenever it's smaller, I have a hard harder time recognizing what it is. Hmm. Well, um, I mean, I. I, I, I get the gist that you definitely love to compete, and it doesn't seem like to me you're missing a beat at all, but do you ever feel like that maybe your visual impairment puts you at any type of disadvantage when competing? Well, I thought about this question, and I don't know, to, to be honest, I don't know if I about you teaching Braille at the Missouri School for the Blind. Tell us a little bit about that. Maybe this is a broad question. Uh, what, well, what positive, or maybe if any, I doubt it, but if any, positive or negative effects do you feel as though that judo maybe have had on your life, with you being a uh, competitor and all? I've gone, I've probably seen about, I've been to 30 states probably. 
That is awesome. Wow. So, so traveling, definitely. And I, I love being on a team. I, I love, that's one of my favorite things. And I have, I've met a lot of, well, the biggest positive, I have friends all over the place. Wow. All over the place. Wonderful people I've met everywhere. I have really good friends in Colorado Springs. I have good friends in Denver. I have friends, well, just everywhere, man. It seems like it. Wow. You know, and, and just wonderful people. And that's the number one positive. Uh, and another positive just keeps me in shape, keeps me in line, keeps me um, disciplined. Mm, exactly. I, I feel. I, I feel like. I feel like it's my lifestyle. So I, I was talking to a couple family members earlier, and there's, I just moved into a uh, new condo. I just bought my own condo uh, a month ago, and they said, "Oh, we need to come over. We need to see it." I told them, "Hey, you just need to call me before you uh, come <laughs> because you never know if I'm going to be at a tournament or if I'm going to be at a uh, practice." Wow. Hey, how's the yeah. weather there in Missouri? I didn't mean to cut you off. How's the weather there in Missouri? Oh, it's cold right now. Really? Oh, yeah, it's freezing but, here. We're in Baltimore. It's freezing here. But, well, it's, um, we're supposed to get like snow and a little bit of snow and sleep. But I, I like uh, living in St. Louis because you get, I like the uh, four seasons. I can't live at one place where it's just warm all the time. It's boring. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man! Wow! Hey, definitely. Uh, well, with, with negatives, I don't. I really don't. Uh, a lot, part of the biggest negative is it's expensive. You have to, you know, buy your uh, tickets to fly. You have to, have to buy your tickets for. You have to buy the entry fee. The you know, the keys are not all that cheap. You know, and just the cost of everything. That's the biggest. Now, I know you compete a lot. You mentioned earlier that you like going, to, you know, competing with a team. Do you guys have sponsors sometimes when you travel and, and you know, enter into uh, different tournaments? Uh, yeah, um, we do. But, I, I mean, there's just not that much money to join. Mm -hmm. You know, you know? Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And a lot of the, you know, players do uh, get sponsors by themselves, you know. It's more of that. Like, we don't get paid all that, all that much. <laughs> right. You know, So um, yeah, I, I definitely appreciate your you uh, allowing me to interview you, man. I, like I said, your story is awesome. And there you have it, awesome interview from an awesome guy. Uh, I'm not if you're seeing this, I'm hoping that you will. I'm assuming that you will. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate your time. Uh, I hope to see you soon in my travels. I hope to train with you soon. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and. Uh, more to come. Thank you for our fans. You've been supportive. You guys have been awesome as usual. And uh, spread the word. Make sure you let everybody know to be a part of the conversation. Thanks a lot, guys.